Hi everybody, welcome back. It's 2024. I'm sure most of us are like trying to maybe reinvent ourselves or find a new style or a new hobby. I know I've been trying to invent myself, mostly my style, and we all want to do this in an affordable way. So I decided to make a guide to thrifting, charity shopping, whatever you like to call it. I would say I'm pretty lucky. Like I have had some pretty good finds. I'm gonna tell you my secrets. So firstly, you definitely need to find some inspiration, whether that's influencers that you follow. So these are a few of the influencers that I get inspiration from. This is Colleen. I love her style and the accessories that she has. And then Cindy, I love the fur vibes of this. And again, I love Maggie's accessories and just this whole look. If you are lost, Pinterest would be definitely a really good way to go about it. As I know my styles are definitely alternating at the minute. Um, I just wear what I love. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek into my Pinterest as well. This is my board from 2023. As you can see, it's a lot of fur. We see a little coach in there as well. I'll show you what I found in a similar style later on. And I really love bows in 2023 as well. I would definitely start off with my basics first. I feel like if you're charity shopping or thrifting, you usually find more statement pieces and it is usually more accessories. So I would definitely have some like basics in my collection first. Some of the basics that I would normally reach for. Primark have these like tank tops in that like kind of resemble like skims when you wear them. I have it in beige and I also have it in black i'm just back from bath so these have been in my bag i'm not gonna lie i get both of these in a 2xs because i prefer them to be tight fitting and i can style those up and down really like as i please which is why they're like the perfect um piece for um creating a new style there's another piece which i always reach for in the basics department it's um the off the shoulder white long sleeve just from brandy melville it is so comfortable and so flattering and it's perfect to base an outfit around if you are thrifting if you're shopping on depop or vinted um i would always search up influencers such as bella hadid or cindy kimberly this is because like pieces um that are more their style come up first which i always prefer this is what vinted brings up if you search up bella hadid I personally would always recommend going charity shopping or even to a thrift shop before going on Depop or Vinted. This is because um, you tend to find like really similar pieces to your vision boards or like, or at least I do, like I find pieces in the charity shops that are like on my like Pinterest board and they're usually like way cheaper. For example, I love coach bags. I've bought myself my own coach bags. I like I've always had them on my Pinterest board and I was actually gonna buy one off Vinted for about a hundred pound. And then I ended up going into the charity shop and found this beauty. She's got a wee stain on her because I brought her in a night out. But um, she's going to the dry cleaner. She will she will pull through. But this is like one of my favourite bags of all time. And I found her in the charity shop for £8. This is my local charity shop. Looks dull, but there are some hidden gems. My advice would be always go for the bags and jewellery first. This is the bag section in all its wonder. This is another cute bag that I've also recently picked up in the charity shop. I actually used her in Bath. She is well loved. Look at the Dolce & Gabbana tag. She is beautiful and I found her for a tenner. I would always, always go to the bags first because all my bags I reach for in my daily like style have come from the charity shop. This is literally another example. It still has the tag on it. But I was looking for like a leopard print bag because I feel like the girls have came out that leopard print is like in trend now and i always love leopard print so i have this beauty always always go for the bags always another piece of advice for all my fellow charity shoppers out there is always go for the jackets as well first like i feel like in the charity shop you don't really find many like like tops or jeans so much as like accessories and jackets i have picked up this beautiful fur jacket in the charity shop and i actually have another one um in my flat and bath you always can find really cute furs in the charity shop another area that you should check out in the charity shops at least in the uk are the shoes 
This is the shoe section in my local charity shop. If these were my size, I totally would have gotten them, but this is just an example of how good the shoes are. You can also find some really unique and chic heels in the shoe section as well. I find this pair of Miss 60 like kitten heels and they're so cute. I feel like they're kind of giving grandma. I always bolt to the shoes because I know there's always going to be cute pieces there. Like I picked up boots there. These are just some of the adorable boots that I find. I picked up ballet pumps there and yeah, just beat the other girlies to them.